guys, welcome back to another one. So, off camera, I did a little bit of level grinding. Managed to max out all my magical skills. Uh, so now that it lets me cast pretty much every spell that I can get. And in doing so, I unlock the enchantment Chameleon. So what I ended up doing was I made a new set of armor, and now I can be completely invisible. <laughs> so now I'll be able to sneak around and nobody will ever see me. Also while we're here, I want to show you all... pretty overpowered glitch in, in the game. What you're going to want to do is pick up two of these rings. Or sorry, one of these rings. Oh. And put whatever enchantment you want. That'll be permanent. So if you put invisibility and do this glitch, it'll be permanent. So I wouldn't recommend doing that. But here I got Feather. What this glitch is going to let you do is enchant yourself. So the name of it doesn't really matter, so I'll just put 2. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to... You're going to want to duplicate it twice. Now you'll get two. And then you're gonna wanna put it on. Click on this like you're duplicating. And then duplicate the one you're not wearing. That'll throw both of them on the ground. But you'll see here it says enchantment two. So that means it's permanently on you. Now you got a permanent feather enchantment on you. For some reason, 76 seems to be the cap for this. They can't really do any more of the uh, feather enchantment, but you can do all sorts of things like magic too. So we'll see. I keep grabbing two. So let's fortify Magicka now. Since it's a new enchantment, you can call it one again. Still got the enchantment. So basically, now I've enchanted myself, and I'll always have these bonuses on my character. But like I said, it's permanent, so if ever you enchant yourself with something stupid, <laughs> you got it on your character for life, and now characters fucked. So use at your own risk. So I'm just gonna do the magic one a couple more times. And there's a cap for certain enchantments too. Like you've seen with the feather one there. Best bet if you're looking for carry weight is probably to do strength enchantments. Now, 
but that's enough for now. So now I got my completely my invisible armor. Let's go finish that quest there. Hope I explained that well. I'm not too good at explaining shit, but. They're probably the most overpowered enchanted items in the whole game because you can literally sneak around anywhere, even past enemies. Balin's house. If I can access the second floor crawl space and loosen the fastenings on the mounted head between 8 p.m. and 11 p.m., will fall on Balin's head as he rests in his chair. If Balin dies in any way, or if Grom is killed, I will lose my bonus. Okay, so we'll wait until around 8 p.m. This house doesn't count as trespassing, so... So he should be sleeping there, or sitting there. We'll just use this to make sure. to read these, eh? The mounted head has fallen on Balin, killing him as expected. I must return to the sanctuary and speak to Vicente Valtieri to receive my reward. Probably sneak out the front door. Being a mage in this game is so broken. And that chameleon enchanting thing isn't a glitch either, so... Technically this is a legal way of playing. It's just everything else I've done so far in this whole video series has been... <laughs> ...me exploiting the game. My video, my rules. So, 
The accident has been staged and Bainlin lies dead. Well done. You have more than earned your reward and bonus. I present to you this dagger. It's an enchanted blade known as Sufferthorn. Its prick is deadly, I assure you. Yes, you are quite an asset to this sanctuary. In fact, I believe you are ready for advancement. I hereby appoint you Slayer. Well done. Now go, child of Sithis. Go and rest. You'll need it. Back for more? It just so happens I have another contract available, one that requires an expert in infiltration. Of course, I'd gladly accept it. As always, you fail to disappoint me. Your target is a dark elf named Valen Dreth. He thinks he's safe in prison. He is tragically mistaken. A prisoner recently escaped from the prison using a set of secret tunnels connected to the Imperial City's sewer system. Who it's that a perfect was. way inside. Just outside the Imperial prison is a grating that leads to the sewers. It has recently been tightly locked, but I will provide a key. It should be easy enough to locate Dreth in his small cell. Besides, I think you know the way, hmm? <laughs> Valen Dreth has been imprisoned for many years. His tongue is sharp, but his body is limp and frail. He will prove an easy, pleasurable kill. You will receive a bonus if you fulfill the contract without killing any of the prison guards. Now go, and may the Night Mother go with you. I kept my level low so I could. So the enemies wouldn't be too crazy strong. It'll be problematic if later on, on one of those escort missions, or. They're like level 5 and the enemy is like level 50. Entered the prison, the sewer beneath the Imperial prison. I must now proceed through the sewer and into the prison itself and kill Valendra.
Oh, wait. I'm proud to do my duty, but it's a waste of time. What are we guarding? Cold stone and shadow. That's it. I'm not disagreeing with you, believe me. Those assassins got what they wanted. The Emperor is dead. They got no reason to come back. That's exactly what I'm saying. But will the captain listen? No. We must have a presence. The prison must remain secure. Yeah, what a laugh, huh? Just who are we keeping secure? Dreth? Since that other one got away, he's the only one riding down here. Yeah, well, I guess you can't blame Captain Montrose too much. This is his big career move, after all. Got to impress that lot upstairs. Yeah, true enough. Oh, well, I best be getting back to my watch. Hey, don't forget, we're meeting for drinks later at the bloated float. Oh, I'll be there. How could I miss a chance to see you cower before that big orc bouncer? <laughs> I ain't afraid of no one. Courage is my middle name. I... Oh, no. Still a chance they could detect me though. If I run into them, they'll detect me for sure. What's he doing? I risk it. Ha! Normally this mission's pretty tough, but... I've only managed to succeed at this, like... Only like a few times. Normally. This guy always detects me. I Whenever I'm admit, not playing gonna miss like this. Breath. Late night beating. <laughs> cries for help. Filthy cut. This 
we'll go through the bars. Huh. Huh. Mind you, I could probably sneak out the top. Yeah. was the wiser. So I don't always cheat, but <laughs> in this video I just did because show you guys all the exploits and stuff that I know. And for the video's sake. So, you infiltrated the Imperial prison, eliminated Vale and Dreth, and killed not one guard. Most excellent. In addition to your standard reward, I present to you this bonus. Behold, the scales of pitiless justice. While carried, the scales will magically enhance your strength, intelligence, and agility, but diminish your personality. A powerful tool indeed. Ah, uh, who needs parent personality? I have a special contract that needs fulfillment. In truth, I don't wish to offer it to any other family member. I've come to rely on your abilities. Contract? We're usually called upon to take a life, but not this time. This contract requires us to stage the assassination of a marked man. Are you ready? Yes, I'm ready. I accept. You must go to the city of Coral and break into the house of Francois Mottier. Inside, you will find Mottiere waiting for you. Do not kill him. You see, Francois Mottiere is a marked man. He owes a considerable sum to the wrong kind of people. So they have sent an enforcer to kill him. Here. You will use this specially poisoned knife to stage Mottiere's death in the enforcer's presence. Mottiere himself will provide more details. This is an unusual contract. Mottiere had to make a special arrangement with us before it was approved. I trust in your professionalism. Spill some blood for me, dear brother. But not too much, apparently. So much nicer ones you can use the well.
go see this Francois. Oh, well, um, hello. You must be the one Lucien Lachance told me about. I've been expecting you. We haven't got much time, I'm afraid. I borrowed quite a bit of gold from some underworld types. I, uh, I missed a payment. Now they don't even want the money. They say I insulted them. They've sent an enforcer to kill me. His name is Hides' Heart, and he's on his way here now. That's why I hired you, so you can fake my death. Go on, my dear. I'm listening. Well, when Hides' heart gets here, I'll put on a little act. You'll cut me with your poison knife, and that vile enforcer will think I'm dead. You must then flee from Coral, and Hides' heart must not be killed. That way he can go back and tell his employers I'm dead. If you wait a day, my body will be put on display in the Coral Chapel Undercroft. You can come to me then and administer the antidote. Got all that? Good. Hides' his heart will be here any moment. Get ready. Oh, I do hope this works. I think I'll stop being invisible for the time being. Motieri, I know you're in there. My employers are most displeased. I'm coming in, and you can beg for your life. <laughs> Not that we'll do you any good. <laughs> Motiera, I am here to exact payment in blood. You will... Eh? Huh? Who is this? Montieri has been slashed with the Languor Wine Blade. It appears to have died from the wound, as expected. I must now flee Coral, and hides his heart alive. Leave hides his heart alive, oh my god. I have fled Coral. And Hides' heart has not been killed. I must now wait a day so Motieri can be discovered and placed in the Coral Chapel undercroft. There I must find Motieri and administer the antidote that will revive him. Okay. Let's wait a bit.
body should be on display right now, but living's weird sometimes. How goes it? Good evening. And what's new with you? They say syndicates of wizards. save just in case. I have administered the Langer wine antidote, and Francois Motieri has awakened from his poison-induced sleep. I should now speak with him and make sure he's well enough to travel to the Grey Mare. I'm a bit stiff, but quite fine otherwise. Ah, yes, the Undercroft. My family members are buried here, you know. Which um, leads me to something I may have failed to mention before. My ancestors will see my revival as a desecration of their tomb. This Undercroft is, well, quite cursed. Any desecration will cause my ancestors to rise from their graves and defend their resting place. I can hear them coming as we speak. You must protect me. Escort me to the Grey Mare where I can buy passage out of Coral. Ah, here they come. Oh, my, Aunt Margaret. You're looking the worse for wear. You had one job. Fighting citizen. That Modron Orion has got no sense of humor. Ah, the Grey Mare. From here I will be able to arrange for transportation out of Cyrodiil. You have served me well, assassin. Francois is forever in your debt. Farewell. It's you. All's well that ends well. And I think with that I'm going to end the video here. If you enjoyed the video, press the like button and subscribe. Peace.